Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I'm making creamy shrimp pesto pasta. I'll get started by making a pesto first. So I have a ton of basil, some pine nuts. I'm gonna use a little bit of salt, Parmesan cheese, garlic, and olive oil. So the first thing I'm gonna do is toss all of my ingredients minus the olive oil into my food processor. And if you don't have one of these, just use your blender. It works the same way. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of fresh cracked pepper and cheese before I drizzle in the olive oil. Once my pesto is done, I place it in a container and then I'll set it aside and get started on making my shrimp. To prepare the rest of the dish, I'll be using fresh tomatoes, minced shallot, heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, pasta, I'm using rotini, about one cup of spinach, and one pound of shrimp. So now I'm gonna go ahead and boil my pasta, and while my pasta is boiling, I'll season my shrimp, and I'm just seasoning them with a little bit of Old Bay. Next, I take a little bit of olive oil and I drizzle it in my pan, and I'm gonna saute my shallots for just a minute or two. Then I take all of my shrimp and I'll cook them for a couple minutes on each side before I move on to add in the rest of the ingredients. Next, I add in my sliced tomatoes and then I season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now I'm just gonna take all of that pesto I set aside, take my rotini, drain it, and then I'm gonna add both into the pan with the shrimp and toss it well. And I know this seems like a lot of steps, but it's really not, especially if you make your pesto ahead of time. If you do, then this dish really takes about 10 minutes to put together. Now I'm gonna add in my cream and spinach and I'm only gonna cook it for about one minute. Then I'm gonna remove it from the heat and finish it off with Parmesan cheese. And I know I'm using spinach here, but if you wanted to sub it out with something like broccoli, you could if you're not a fan of spinach at all. I've actually tried this with broccoli and it turned out really well. Now I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of extra Parmesan cheese before serving. That's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos from me. And I will see you next time. Bye.